Welcome Ultimate Hoops. I'm here with Sean Richardson, uh, UH League Coordinator, Analyst, Extraordinaire. Sean Bird. Sean Bird. <laughs> Sean, big, big uh, night tonight coming up after this uh, slate of games wraps up here in uh, you know half hour or so. We got the Players Committee making their picks for the playoffs. I know you got who you think would uh, fit where, so we're going to we're going to kind of go from the top and break them down a little bit and see see what their chances are in these playoffs going forward, okay? Okay. All right. Let's start. At number one, I got uh, Fast and Furious. I think um, this season they've proven to be probably the best all-around team. Um, I think they got the best, arguably the best player in Sean Berg and Corey Little. He's smart. He uh, stretches the floor. He's got size. Very, very good IQ. Uh, they got Jasker Denby, who's one of the best big men in Ultimate Hoops. And uh, with, with those two alongside with uh, guards who can handle pressure, who can knock down big shots like Elston Winston, or uh, they got uh, Ray Alford, who's a nice wing, who can also knock down shots. It's just a very tough matchup for any team to, to play against them each night. So. Uh, let's roll a number two here. We got Post Traumatic. Um, thinking... Nick Cordero, there's a lot of people that are, is a, is a person a lot of people have overlooked so far as far as uh, MVP candidate over there in Schaumburg. Uh, his numbers have been solid all season, post-traumatic 7-1. and one. Uh, Obviously, Dan Silver, he's doing his thing, averaging about, um, averaging about 31 points a game. So uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking they they have a really good chance at, at uh, taking the banner between Schaumburg and Bloomingdale as well. So, two Schaumburg teams leading the way. Is that a uh, have to do you think with their big man? Unlike all the other teams in the league, don't have anybody like those two teams. Exactly. They they both have uh, extremely talented, large, big players that no other team can um, compete with. Uh, New Era has Derek Edwards who can play defense, but he's not sound like uh, Nick Cordero or Jasker Denby so um, I think that's what kind of gives them an edge okay. over any other team in the playoffs who cracks uh, top four then here who we got number three number three I got no size and uh, the, I mean their name speaks for itself they really they don't have a big man they used to have Elise who but uh, I don't I don't believe he's with them anymore um, they got a lot of players that range in between you know six foot and six three but everybody's extremely athletic. Everybody runs the floor. Everybody can shoot, pass, run, you know, cut the lanes really well. So, I mean, they're a really good team as well. They had a rough, rough start to begin the season. That's why I think they, uh, so I think they lost uh, two, three games, whatever it was. Um, but if they would have had the chemistry going right from the get-go, they probably would have been a one or two slot. Okay. Um, looks like you got... That's what she said at number four. Um, I think even though they have the same rank, same record as, uh, as as teams like Lake Show, they have the exact same record. But one of the losses for that, so she said, came when Brian Evans wasn't there. And another loss came against Lake Show. So, I mean, those are the two losses right there that could be, you know, wiped away. They just... They're just a really good team all around. They always are. Uh, Brian Evans destroys the league every season, so I, I gave them the edge over over my own Lake Show. This even though Lake Show's played most of their games without their best man, even though we play we, we play without Corey, but I don't know. I, I, I still think I think uh, that's what she said. It's got a better team. There you go. No bias there from this guy. No uh, bias. So then you got Lake Show number five. Lake Show coming in at five. Uh, we lost three games. Uh, all three of those games obviously came with no Corey Little. Um, but that's, I mean, that's not that's not anybody's fault but our own. So uh, we, we just got to win games. We got to play better sometimes. Uh, we took a tough loss tonight to no size. So they, they showed a few holes in, in our team, in our team, and uh, – that's why I think that's what she said it has the edge over us. Well, even though Lake Show is uh, going to have to play the first night, they're not part of the top four that get a bye, they are going to get to play the number 12 seed. So that is an advantage in that sense. And then number six? Number six, I got New Era. Um, 
they started off decent and then uh, they took you know three four game losing streak or whatever it was but they have Ryan Harris who is just flat out the best scorer in ultimate hoops this season um, he's averaging 47 points a game so I mean you got him you have a chance to win no matter who you're playing against quick question on that can anybody check him in the league um if anybody can guard him I would say it's probably Mike Avalon off of no size uh, he has the speed and he has a length that's gonna bother him so that'd probably be my go-to person if I if I want to try to lock Ryan Harris up which rarely happens so <laughs> Mike might not even have a chance um, all right number seven I got all black everything it's tough it's a tough I mean it's up in the air between them and, and boot gang but the thing about all black everything is they they haven't had a full roster all season with both Bobby Rhodes and Josh Walker present I think with that two-headed monster at, at the one and two it's going to be very extremely tough for anybody to guard best guard combo in UH Chicago it just might be the best one-two punch in and ultimate hoops Chicago and well you know with the uh, NCAA tournament, guards win win the championship, right? So maybe that maybe that's the key for them. That, I mean, that might be the formula. They they got a really good one-two tandem. So uh, they they impre they'll I think they'll shock some people. So that means you have boot gang at number eight, right? Boot gang at number eight. Uh, they're on a four-game losing streak. Um, they they haven't had their star player Andre Muse for four four games so that's probably got a little something to do with it take away 37 points 12 rebounds a game it's probably not going to be as easy not going to be as easy to get wins but um uh, a few returns for the playoffs they have they have a they have a fighting chance they got plenty of size over there uh, another guard besides myself Eric Marshall is very smart uh, he can score he can defend he just I mean maybe a little undersized to some people but he plays with a lot of heart and so, with Andre Muse, they have a chance. So then our nine seed, so that means the winner of the eight nine, they're gonna have to play Fast and Furious after in the second round. Who's who's that number nine? Um, I got Watch the Throne. Uh, their record doesn't really speak for their talent. Pat Duvall, to me, is one of the most underrated players in the league every season. He's probably averaging somewhere around 18 and seven points, 18 points and seven, eight rebounds a game. Uh, he's that player you don't pay attention to, but he produces every, each and every night. Uh, they obviously got Bobby Rhodes, and then they have a uh, multi-MVP winner, Fred Taylor, on their roster as well. So, I mean, with, with that, you can you can beat anybody on any given night. I see you got number 10 here. I think uh, this might be one of the most scary teams out of this this bottom of the bracket, don't you think? Yeah, you got the Bulls, and they're very, they have a lot of size. Um, their problem to me would be their point guard play. Outside of Kevin Parker, they don't really, they don't really have anybody who, who can handle the ball with confidence. Uh, they got Mike Brown and Dan Howard who can both, you could just dump it down and expect two points, but if you have nobody that can dump it down to them, if you have nobody that can dump it down to them, yeah. Uh, if you have nobody that can dump it down to him, okay, we're good. If you have nobody that can dump it down to him, it's going to be a long game. Uh, if KP's not scoring, I don't really—he's not the best facilitator. He knows how to make passes, but he doesn't know how to play make so much for other people, in my opinion. Um, he does from time to time. Don't get me wrong, but you don't look to him as a playmaker. You look to him as a scorer. Uh, he can hit the mid-range jumper. He can play out the post really well for a guard but uh yeah their point guard play is just going to hold them back and plus i haven't seen xavier granger Ooh. in uh, quite a few weeks so without him they're they're a much worse team okay um let's go back here number 11. number 11 uh i really would like to choose lunchtime i think they're a better team all around they have better players uh they've taken three four tough losses against good teams too against really good teams where they could have they could have won the game, but they, you know, gave it up at the end for some reason. But uh, because full package, they just have, they have a better record. So 
I just went with them based off of their record, not based off of what I truly thought. Um, if I have a pen, matter of fact, I think I want to switch that for my vote. You want to switch? Oh, okay. My vote. <laughs> I'm switching 11 to lunchtime. I think they're a better team. Okay. So we're going to... Uh, Ooh, full package. Getting the boot number 12. Yeah, man, they're just too undersized. Uh, and, they're, and, and as far as far as undersized goes, it's not it's not like a no size problem where they're they got six one six two players. Uh, their undersized is five six, uh, five ten, you know, five eleven for at at the three spot. So I mean, you can't can't win too many games playing like that. And that's why I think their record reflects it. They're two and seven, uh, lost four straight. So. I'm uh, I think I'm gonna go with full package as the last seed. Okay. So let's let's look at these here again for our matchups for night one. So we got Lake Show playing full package winner. Lake Show. Okay. We got New Era playing lunchtime. I'm gonna go with New New Era. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go with New Era. I mean they they actually just played last week and or they played yesterday. And New Era won probably easily by like they played last week. Okay, last edit week. that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They played last week, and uh, it was a very close game. It came down to the end, but uh, I told you they have Ryan Harris on their team, so I mean that gives that gives people the edge on any given night. That'll give New Era the edge. Okay. Um, then we got All Black Everything facing the Bulls. Uh, I'm gonna go All Black Everything. They don't really have the size to match up with the Bulls, but if they're scrappy enough and they run the court enough, uh, the Bulls won't be able to keep up, and especially if there's no Xavier Granger. If there's no Xavier, they don't have a chance, in my opinion. Um, long as Bobby and Josh show up. Boo gang, watch the throne. Um, I'm going to give you two answers. One answer being, if Andre shows up, I'm going to say Boo gang wins this game. If he doesn't show up, watch the throne. It's probably going to win. There's no, there's no matchup for Fred Taylor if Andre's not there. It's going to be tough. There's no, there's nobody that can guard him. Um, you just have to hope he has one of those nights where he's missing his layups and his free throws. Uh, Bobby can create and score, and, and Pat is just a offensive ma nightmare for anybody who, who's not used to playing off the ball, uh, defense off the ball. So I'm going to go watch the throne on that. On that. But if uh, Andre's there, I'm going to say Boo Gang win. Okay. Um, now, these, these seeds are not official, but this is what we're, this is our bracketology here right now. So, if you're going to look at that, who do you think is going to be the final four? Who's going to make the championship? And who's going to win it? Final four? Yep. I would say. Uh, so. The one seed plays the winner of the eight nine. Eight, nine. Yep. So there's, I'm say Fast and Furious cut out of one out of one uh okay. one bracket. They play say they play seven ten. Yep. And I'm gonna say Post Traumatic wins that. Okay. Post Traumatic bleeds all back everything. Uh, no size plays New Era or Bulls. Yep. No. New Era. Or, full uh, package. Full lunchtime. Oh, they play New Era or lunchtime. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna switch it up, and I'm gonna say New Era wins that. Beats no size. I'm gonna say New Era beats okay. no size. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say Ryan Harris goes off, has a historic night. You know, stays on pace, scoring his normal 46, 47 points a game, and I'm, I think they're gonna edge him out. And then um, Lake Lake Show would have to play. That's what she said, yeah. and uh, are you just giving Lake Show? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. And I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Lake Show wins that pending. Assuming Corey's playing. A pending Corey showing up. Okay, so you got Fast and the Furious, Post Traumatic, New Era, and Lake, Lake Show. Show. Got a couple upsets here. Got yeah, you know, a few upsets, you know, and uh, mainly Schomburg teams, but that. Uh, that comes down to size, I think, at the end of the day. There's not a lot of size at Bloomingdale outside of the Bulls. Okay. So that means you got Lake Show playing Fast and Furious and Post Traumatic playing New Era. Okay. Yep. Who, do, who wins those ones? 
Uh, I'm going to say fast and furious because uh, Corey plays for both teams, and I'm assuming he's going to go with the top seed that, that game. <laughs> so I think uh, fast and furious wins the first game, and then uh, post-traumatic wins the second. Post-traumatic wins. It's playing New Era, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. So then we got we got the top two seeds. One, two. Fast and furious. Fast and furious. There's the champs. All right. We'll have to see how the the committee breaks down the seedings. Um, but there we have it from Sean. What who he thinks is going to take it. And we're going to roll it over to Warrenville and see who's getting the the buys over there to get the edge in those playoffs. Thanks, Sean. Ultimate hoops. I'm back here at Warrenville. I'm with Rob DiBendetto, Warrenville League Coordinator. Rob, how are you doing this week? All right, not bad. You know, we got that uh, nice Thanksgiving. Did you have a good one? I did, I did. Finally, uh, Derek Rose uh, returning to action. Huh? Are you excited about that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm hoping that he uh, could stay healthy. I mean, that's been his uh, MO <laughs> for a while now. It's the recurring theme here in Chicago. Anyways, three game streak right now. The three game work. Three? Ooh, that might be a record. That might be a record. All right, Rob. We've got a, a slate of games here tonight. Kind of uh, interesting. I'm not quite sure how this is going to unfold with No Size and Scorpions. Who gets that two, that coveted two seed for that bye? Um, but. I, I think I know the answer to this already. I think, okay. I think the Scorpions are going to take this one today and lock up the number two spot. So they're That's gonna, my thing. They're taking out Boom Squad, huh? Yeah, I, I think ten game winning streak. Yeah, I think they're gonna end it today. That's my prediction. Okay. <laughs> All right, bro. Bold <laughs> predictions here. So that means no size would be the three seed, and they would have to play. Um, they would. They would probably. It depends on this game. Uh, the first game, the Los Bros versus the Eskimo Brothers. Uh, if the Eskimo Brothers could pull it out. They will become the fifth, seed. the fifth seed, and then they'll play against no size or the Scorpions, depending. Um, if they lose, then I think they're pretty much in the last spot where they belong. Okay. <laughs> so no size going to win that matchup regardless, or Scorpions going to win that matchup regardless? Um, I don't think so. I think we're. Gonna, I think Eskimo Brothers is saving their best for last. <laughs> that means. You're going to have the Los Bros facing off against Eskimo or Thunder Down Under. Um, are they a favorite in that one? Yeah, they're, they're the favorites in that game. Uh, I was being biased on the other game, but uh, the Los Bros, if they face Thunder Down Under, whoever, actually whoever faces Thunder Down Under is probably going to be the favorite in that, ga in that game. Uh, they did show a lot last the, our last game. Uh, they, they, they almost had Los Bros beat, and then they kind of like, Missed the shot at the end there. Oh uh, yeah, he missed a layup to win the game. So I mean, they're in. They were in it. They they actually played their best game I think all season long. I mean, that even includes the win that they got because they, they, I mean they were tough that last game. They were tough. How much does that first round buy mean for these playoffs when you you have a prospective doubleheader coming if you don't get the number one or two? Uh, that's huge. That the doubleheader. I know for you old guys. Yes, for me it's brutal. I can't. I can't deal with that doubleheader. It's gonna be. It's gonna be awful. I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna have to probably. Hopefully we have a gay uh, a game off in between the first and the second game. I usually don't like to do that, but I'll probably. If we win, I would probably go hit the hot tub, then come back, and then. Play play the second game. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's there's a good remedy for it, really. Okay. Obviously, Boom Squad's undefeated. They're probably the heavy favorites. Re I mean, regardless of what Rob thinks here. But no si Who who does it hurt more not getting that two seed? No size or Scorpions? No size. They got a lot of older players. But Scorpions maybe rely on Mike Rose too much. That could burn him out. Yeah, but I think I still think it'd probably uh, hurt. <laughs> Hurt um, no size more. They, they they got a lot of a lot of elderly on their team, so uh, them not. They are deeper though. They they are deeper, but then they lost Devin, so that's huge for them also. Um, that that took away from their depth. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they could win two in a row really. I don't, Even with the MVP on their team. I don't think they can win two in a row. I mean, this is his first season back. Also, I mean, there's been times that he's been gassed, just playing in one game. So I I don't think. I don't think 
they will win if they have to play if they're in the third third seed. Okay. So two seeds on the line more for no size tonight. Yes, absolutely. If they if they don't get that two seed, it's gonna be it's gonna be hurting. It's gonna be it's gonna be bad for them, I think. Sounds like they're rooting for the Nemesis Boom Squad to pull out the win tonight, huh? Yes, they probably are leading towards them, but I mean they they yeah, I bet you but they saying their prayers. <laughs> All right, Rob. Thanks, man.